Hello everyone, Sans and Two, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Spooky Arms. A mod that simply adds in three tiers of pistols, as well as bullets, an explosive pumpkin, and upgrades and such. So, uh, we'll just start off I guess with some of the weapons and then some of the other aspects. So, you've got the pumpkin pistol, which is simply made with a pumpkin, two carved pumpkins, two iron ingots, block of iron, and pumpkin circuit, which is just iron ingots surrounding a pumpkin. Uh, you can also make a pumpkin bazooka with similar resources, but like so. Uh, you can upgrade it, the pistol, with an upgrade kit, and you can do the exact same with tier 3 as well, or mark 3. And you get upgrade kits from dungeon chests, it seems, here. Um, so obviously you can't craft them, you can only use them in that way. And you don't just like right click or something with the thing on it, you just have to put it in the um, uh, smithing table. So we'll move these along. Uh, we've got pumpkin bullets for your ammunition with pumpkin seeds and gunpowder. And then we also have explosive pumpkins, which I assume are grenades with gunpowder and a cuff pumpkin. And there's also an infinite ammo pouch, which I assume is just a thing for creative mode. Um, and I don't think it's found in dungeon chests like the other. Uh, there's no mention of it, so I'm not sure. We'll just keep this, I guess, to the side. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it can do. So, um, we'll spawn a bunch of mobs and see what happens. So now I guess there's some zombies. I don't have much for um, other ones with health that I can think of, so we'll just try a few and see. Um, what have we got here? We're on normal, so that's fine. We just need time set night, will be good. Let's do this. The regular. As you can see, it does have a cooldown, so you do have to be careful. And there is a bit of recoil as well when firing. So, a few hits there. That's very, yeah. Uh, so, we've got tier 2, which has a must much faster cooldown rate, this obviously does more damage maybe a bit more I don't have a health bar mod installed unfortunately but uh, I assume it does a fair bit more than the others so not too bad I guess maybe it's maybe like plus one more damage I guess um, there's no enchantment possibilities or anything either that I can think of We'll see, so that's that. Uh, the bazooka does actually explode the area, so it is pretty much just like a pumpkin TNT launcher, I guess, in a way. Or explosive um, pumpkin launcher, I guess, technically. Now if we throw this down, what happens? Uh, I think that's just it then, right? So just get a lever. I don't know if this will dig me out immediately. Nope, I guess it's just pumpkin TNT, so it's not a grenade. Can't throw it at all. It is fairly effective. Um, let's take them out as well. Now I think this will also bother Endermen as well. So yeah, they'll completely ignore it like um, arrows. Exactly. But uh, you get the idea. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it as far as I can tell. Um, I don't... I could try throwing in a health mod and see a oh, damage indication mod. Let's see what happens. Um, so let's go need for example because that's always a good example. Um, if it's for that, let's throw that in. Uh, everything else should be fine enough, I think. Correct? Yeah. Let's do this like so. And we'll go to here, here, and to here, and we'll take a look. So we'll just go out of here. More than it takes its time, of course. Cool. And then we'll reload and see what happens. Uh, other than that, though, I think that's pretty much it. There's no configs, there's none of that to test. Um, so we're just going to be waiting for the most part until it is ready. But uh, yeah, just three tiers of handguns, or pistols, and a bazooka, and um, yeah, some upgrades. 
don't know the exact um, chance of the upgrades, unfortunately. But uh, I assume they're probably fairly accessible once you find a dungeon, at the very least. So, yeah. Okay, so we do this, we'll go back into the same world, and we'll see what happens now. Um, and we've also got certain more mobs we can test with, anyways, with more health. So. Not that I was able to defeat them all in one go, um, but either way, we can test for others, I guess. Okay. So we're just waiting, and there we go. Cool. Alright. So, what do we got here with the zombie? I forgot I put it to peaceful. Right, so we'll just do this, and what happens with you? You have now 13 something health, so that's 7 damage. Baby zombie, we've got 12, so it's one more than before. We've got... down to 12-ish there, is it? Hang on, try again. So tier 2, or mark 2, we've got 12, 13. Okay, and then we'll do this, which is supposed to be pistol 3, which does also 12, 13. That doesn't seem right. Is it... Okay, maybe it's supposed to be the same damage, it's just more repetitive and has... Uh, sorry, able to fire out more shots, but just doesn't have the... Um, l longer cooldown, I guess, is pretty much the reason to get that for the next upgrade, I would assume. Um, if we do this, what happens? No, oh, that happens. Um, that was not intended. Um, where are we? Over here. Or something? I have no idea, I'm lost. Um, that really doesn't help. Um, yeah, forget it. Um, you guys yeah, just gonna chill over there, aren't you? You do that, I'm gonna grab my stuff. Um, so we just need the bazooka, we need one of you, and we need bullets, correct? So that's it, oh, come on. Perfect. What do we got here? Oh, what? Oh, attack by a skeleton, as usual. Um, we use the infinite bag as well, that should be good enough, right? Interesting, doesn't work from that. So the pistols? They do, but the bazooka does not. Interesting. Okay. So that makes sense, I guess, as they use bullets for all the rest. Okay. Um, I have no idea. What? What am I missing here? Oh, explosive pumpkins is what it fires, isn't it? That's why. That's why that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, there's another mob I can use this on, so let's see, you can take quite a lot of impact damage, Oop. Oop, I'm going to take it quite a bit of damage there, so it can easily defeat them, but it depends, um, definitely depends, so I guess if you want something in that to easily throw, like TNT then, uh, at will then you can, instead of just constantly getting TNT and using redstone on it. Um, but yeah, this pretty much will do the exact same as that anyways, just in block form. So just get this I guess, because why not, and just test. Um, so let's see, if we just go... Skeleton, can you just... thanks, that'd be great. Can you just wander over here, that'd be good. See ya. Okay, so that's probably going to be the same as TNT, I assume, for not only just explosion radius, but also damage. So, you know, yeah, hello. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.